Hey, and welcome back to the Build a Basement. Been away for a while. Apologize for that. So, catch up real quick. I am going to do an unboxing today of a wiring harness that I purchased. It was not given to me any discounts. I did not get it for free. Uh, I reached out to KB3D and said, hey, can you help me out with something? I need a wiring harness. I haven't had time to put one together for my Voron build. And so this video is going to be about that. So let's jump right into it. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe. So what we got is our Lineo. I think I'm saying it right. Uh, wiring harness for the Voron 2.4. This is a 300 millimeter kit. Again, from KB3D. I'll show you a website real quick here. So they have quite a bit for Vorons in general. Vorons. Bounce my V a little bit better there. Um, they had some interesting stuff. I had a lot of people ask me questions about tool head PCBs. Um, I wasn't doing one. I'm still not doing one just because availability, but I'm probably going to do one as an upgrade in the future. Um, but uh, along with things they have going on here at the house uh, above the basement, uh, kitchen remodels, new pets, uh, family, school starting for the kids and everything like that. I had to do something to kick myself in the rear end to get this thing off the ground and into it so we can work on software and kind of catch everything up and put some content out there for you guys. So yeah, so the um, the wiring harness that they sell actually comes with a build of material kit, um, which includes, I assume I've not opened it yet, uh, the DuPont connectors for the rest of everything else you're going to need. They basically will sell to you, let me show you this real quick, based on what you want, you pick 250, 300, 350, you pick what kind of controller board you're using. Uh, they have the Spire, the Octopus, uh, SKR, uh, wiring harness color, uh, whether or not you have a tool head or not, and then the secondary cover, a color, uh, and then uh, if you're using a Z-Switch PCB, uh, which they also do sell. Um, so you go through all that, price it all up. It's about 150 bucks, give or take, plus shipping. And uh, let's open up and find out what the quality's like. All right, so inside we find this nice looking package. And it is a 300 millimeter um, for the spider. So it should be right. We'll get that in a second. Um, this one did come with the see what are they call this this is the z switch pcb um as opposed to actually this is xy switch on it. oh this is an xy okay yeah so honestly i wasn't exactly sure what i got i told them whatever you guys have i will buy it i reached out directly um so there you go, X and Y switch. Uh, so the ones that you put together inside the ABS parts, probably gonna work just fine. This is nice and soldered, very nice solder points on it, relatively clean, a black PCB, it's nice. Has a connector already put on it uh, for hooking that up. So uh, a little bit of an upgrade there, make it a little bit easier to put things together. Set that aside. They also sent over a cool little screwdriver. I assume they send this stuff to everybody, but um, right there, nice little logo on that. Definitely keep that. A little ring there. And I think, I think it's magnetic. But yeah, look at that. Pick stuff up with that. It's nice, I like it. Put it right there on the tools. All right, and cool little sticker they sent me, AB3D. Now what's really cool about this is, those are my initials. So, again. Didn't ask for anything, paid for everything. I didn't even tell them I was going to do any type of review or anything like that, but content, I need to put up some content. I need to get up with this build. So here we go. Uh, other than that, I got my bill cell in there and that's it. So we'll put that right there for now. Again, I'd like to thank the folks over there. Um, again, I didn't ask for anything, but they hooked me up. They got to me quick. Uh, I assume they'll work with everybody, get to them just as quick, but there we go. All right, let's open this thing up. Very nice packaging, by the way. Do do do. 
kind of makes you exciting. I'll throw that away. Let's see here. Well, yeah. Little magnetic clasps there on the box. And we have some connectors and pins. Then about 35, 40 of those and just can't find the time to complete this. So this will cut everything down by quite a bit, but still need to do some. I've got, what do I got here? I got some, some additional stuff I didn't really need, uh, but they send with their kit. They sell this as a kit. I have some more connectors. Look at those in a second. I've got wiring here for my mains wiring, my full voltage AC power. I needed it. Good. So if you're doing a complete build um, and you are sourcing your parts, this would be a good, um, I guess, component source for your electrical components, your wiring, for the most part, wiring connectors. Um, this is what they're kind of saying it out there as, but looks pretty decent. I've got my, no, I call them spade terminals. But these are slide on terminals right here um, for connecting your components that have those. Okay. I've got a mold, let's see, a three pin connector right there for a disconnect and pins for the, for the bed, I assume. I don't know. Free wire, so plus minus and ground. So I guess you could use that for the bed. Or right, well, I'll use that. I, I'll use that for my bed. I didn't have one. So um, some black wire. Nice. Cool. And some actual spade connectors, some slide ons. Some really small zip ties. This might be some of the smallest zip ties I've ever seen. So that, that, and that. And that. And before we open that up, let's look at the rest of the stuff inside this package. We've got, let's see here. I don't know what to call that. I mean, it's a little list of components. Um, oh, it's abbreviation. So it's abbreviation list. Might be a sticker. Feels like a sticker. I think it's a sticker. I've got uh, indication of how to wire the stepper motors. So on this, they're basically showing you coil A or coil A, coil B, your plus and minus, um, and your two separate coils going to your magnet on your motor itself, and some information there, come in handy. And also a, I hope I say this right, Lineo. This Lineo sticker. Won't we'll put that on your build. So uh, let's see here. Just real quick here. Wanted to mention the wire that they're using. They're calling it Lineo Flon FEP, which is a high temp wiring that's very similar. To um, the high temperature wiring that suggested. Um, it, it's an upgrade from the silicone wire that you get in a lot of kits. So, um, very low friction. And this is vacuum sealed. That slides open. Picture telling you what it is. Probably so when they grab it and throw it in the box, they know what it is. And let's see here. It's black on black, which is exactly what I was doing on mine. Let me get some of these. The connectors are wrapped with a foam metallic tape to keep them protected. Kind of nice. I might even say it's overkill, but it works. Let's see if I can cut anything. Let's 
All right. So getting into the meat of everything here. So very nice looking crimps on this. Everything's labeled. We got your XY. You got your PF, which is we're gonna go back to this now. So PF part cooling fan, yep. Um PO, which is the thermistor. Okay, kind of odd, but whatever. Uh HO, which is your heater. Uh, and then on the heater wiring, you are do, 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 do. It did yep, it's a slightly larger gauge wire, which is good. Uh, you get your HF, your heater fan. So basically, this is this is going right to the the tool head. Open last one. Very very nice. And honestly, I plan on cheating a little bit and utilizing this to cut my lengths. Um. Or another harness for another printer build. All right, so on the far end here, okay, so here's what we got. We got our tool head, which is the maximum length, and then we have a cutout here um, with a M, which is a motor, and then there should be BM uh, for B motor. And they've gone ahead and they've put indications on these with these yellow for a and b so that corresponds with the diagram here with the yellow on the b so you know that these yellow are b and the non-yellowed are a nice okay and then on the far end we have our xy for our xy end stops and board connectors. So it all looks like it's there. So what's not here and what doesn't need to be here is the connections or any wiring harness or any loom or anything like that for the actual four steppers that are underneath the build. Uh, since all those are gonna have absolutely no issue getting to the spider board I'm using. Um, this looks pretty good. I mean, the wiring is nice. It's packaged nice. Uh, let's see here. It's, I haven't given everything a pull test, but these crimps look good. Everything is marked individually. I'm not feeling anything kind of being out of sorts or out of place. And after crimping for a while, I do like that right here for, for this uh, thermistor and the heater. They've gone ahead and they bundle them together a little bit. And they also put a little bit of this, um, I don't call it that stuff, finger handcuff stuff there. The um, fans and contracts. But, anyways, keeps everything nice and safe and another layer of uh, heat protection. So, very, very nice. All right. So, all in all, harness looks great. Hoping that this will kick off the rest of the build. I'm um, going to get this installed on another video coming up real quick. Uh, once I get it installed, we're going to get right into the software, start rolling with it, and get this thing up and running. Uh, I, again, apologize if you've been with me this whole way and you've been waiting for my next video. and It's been taking me a while. If I could only tell you all the things I have going on right now. You wouldn't be upset. Anyways, subscribe if you haven't. Uh, hit that like button. Visit me on my website. Email me. Leave me a comment. Send me a message. Give me a call. Whatever you want. Get a hold of me. See you next time.